Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland, and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to plot two lines on a chart representing two sets of data for COVID-19, cases and deaths, and we're going to do this in Office 365 Excel. So first of all, let's take a look at what the complete chart might look like. And we can see here on the, first of all, on the left-hand side, the data that we're going to use. Now, these data are downloaded from the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control. The uh, web address for this is in the notes section uh, in underneath this video, so you can go to it yourself. And this is the uh, European Centre producing uh, data on all countries in the world for um, cases and deaths for the uh, COVID-19 coronavirus um, uh, data that we are looking at here now. And all I've done here is I've downloaded the file and I have uh, extracted data for Ireland only and the dates that I've extracted are the 1st of March when the first case in Ireland was reported to the 14th of April, that was um, today's date. So um, I'm interested in plotting the chart on the right hand side based on these data here and quick, looking quickly at the chart you can see in blue the number of cases uh, increasing uh, over time and also you can see uh, less of an increase in deaths but nevertheless there is a significant increase in uh, deaths. So we'd like to be able to uh, plot this chart. I'm sure you will have seen charts like this already in the newspapers, in magazines, in online and in the media and so how you might be wondering how do they plot this chart and it turns out it is relatively easy to do. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on my panel in here on the left hand side and uh, just go back to the raw data. I've made it a little bit bigger to see. And the European Centre um, uh, uh, makes all of this data available, so all the columns are the same. I've just extracted the data for Ireland for the time period under study. And what I'm interested in are just three of these columns. So in column A, I've got the date because I want to show the uh, data over time. And column E is where the number of cases that have been recorded are. And column F is where the number of deaths that have been recorded are. So these are the three columns I want to use to draw my chart. And really, this is the key piece for when we are drawing a chart in Excel with two lines. So first, with my left mouse button, I'm going to select column A. So move my mouse over the letter A, click once on the left mouse button, and that selects the column A, as you can see in my screen here. Then I'm going to hold down, press and hold down my control key on my keyboard and go over then to column E, you see column E will highlight in green at the top here, and with one mouse click um, on the left mouse button, select that, I'm still holding down the control key. So that's, now you can see I'm selecting two separate columns, and I want to now select the third column, that's column F, I'm still holding the control key, one click of my left mouse button, that will select the third column, and once I've got my three columns selected like this, I can let go of my control key, and I have the data selected that I want to do my charting with. Okay, so that's the key. The rest is relatively straightforward, so let's do it. So I'm going to choose the insert ribbon across the top of Excel. And in my screen, the uh, charting icons are here in the center. And the one I want is the one with the lines, and I'm going to, which is, allows me to insert a line or area chart. So click on the drop down menu there. You've got several options available here. I'm going to choose the simplest, which is a 2D uh, two line chart. And you can see in behind the thumbnail appearing. So select that option. Uh, I'm just going to make my chart a little bit bigger here so we can work with it. And you can see the chart is more or less done. Um, you can experiment with the different types of chart if you want, but we're going to go with this one. So a few things straight away that I want to do. So first of all, the chart title is not placed in, so I'm going to select the words chart title and overwrite them with, say, Ireland COVID-19 data, okay, or whatever your heading it is that you want to be. And I also, uh, if I select the right-hand side of the chart, you can see a plus sign appears. Uh, if I want to add in an X and Y axis, so select that and choose, uh, check the box that says Axis Titles. And uh, on the left-hand side, you can see the word Axis Title has appeared on the Y axis. So I'm going to double-click on those words and overwrite this. I'm just going to put in number. Uh, in this case here to indicate the values on the uh, y-axis and on the x-axis that's for quite simply that is just date. I'm also and and uh, click outside that and that will label the date so you can experiment with different font sizes and whether you want it bold or italic whatever it is that you want to put in there. Um, I'm also going to move the legend uh, um, which is at the bottom of the chart I'm going to move that up into the center of the chart just to make it a little bit easier to read I can also, with my chart here, select, say, the blue button uh, with the left mouse button, right-click on it, and choose Format Data Series, 
and this will allow me to make some changes to things like the colors by clicking on the paint icon. I can also change the width of the chart if I want to make it appear bigger, say for a presentation or something, and I want to make it, uh, it um, a bit more obvious. I can change the colors uh, to whatever color it is that I want to choose. I can, and you, you should experiment with all of these options using the format uh, data series line. So I'm going to close that down. And uh, that's really how you plot uh, two lines on a chart, in this case using uh, COVID-19 data. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.